Nutrition is important for everyone because what we eat has an impact on our health and well-being. But it's particularly important for adolescents, so your teens and your tweens, because they're going through this rapid period of growth and development. So what they eat as teenagers will actually impact their current physical and mental health, but also that in the future. So it's really important that they actually get a health, the nutrients they need. So for example, for their bones, um, about a third of their total bone is being laid down during this time. And so if they have a calcium rich diet, that can help protect their future bone health. But it's more than just nutrients, it's actually about the whole dietary pattern. And it's important that young people consume a diet and dietary pattern that actually sets them up to have a lower risk of developing some of the diseases that are very common in adulthood. So a reduced risk of things like type 2 diabetes, heart disease, a reduced risk of being overweight or obese, and a reduced risk of high blood pressure. Well, there's a lot of information out there about diet. And it's important that the information that you consult is based on the best scientific evidence. So I'd recommend you look up the Australian Dietary Guidelines and the Australian Guide to Healthy Eating. They were developed by the National Health and Medical Research Council, and they're the best available evidence about a diet for health. So if you look at the Australian Guide to Healthy Eating, you'll see there's a large circle these are the foods that you need to base your meals around. These are the healthy, nutritious food groups. So there's five healthy, nutritious food groups. The second principle is to reduce the amounts of foods on the bottom right-hand corner that you're consuming. These are the unhealthy foods, the foods that are not part of a healthy diet. So we need to ask what a serve is. Well, here you can see examples of a serve of each of the different healthy food groups. This graph shows the recommended number of serves of the different food groups for boys in light green and girls in the brighter green. So most Australian teenagers actually eat a diet that's very different to these recommendations. This graph shows you how different the average teenager eats compared with the recommendations. You can see on the left hand side that their intake of all of the five healthy food groups is much lower than is recommended. And then you can see on the right hand side that their intake of the unhealthy foods is far higher than the maximum recommended. So overall the average teenager consumes around 40% of their total energy from these unhealthy foods and drinks. The trouble with the unhealthy foods is that they're taking the place of the healthy foods within the diet. And the reason people like them so much is they're actually manufactured to be appealing and tasty. We tend to overconsume them because they tend to be high in fat and sugar and lacking in fiber and protein. So the average teenager needs to eat an extra three serves of vegetables every day an extra two serves of dairy or alternatives every day, an extra one serve of meat or alternatives, and half an extra serve of fruit each day. In addition, the average teenage girl needs to have two extra serves of grains or cereals, and the average teenage boy needs an extra serve. But in order to make room for all this healthy food, they all need to about halve their intake of the unhealthy foods and drinks. So parents can do a, a lot to create a healthy food environment and small steps are the, in the right direction are important. You know, don't do everything all at once, but just gradually over time, make your food environment much healthier. So reduce the amount of cakes and biscuits and soft drink and chips of all the unhealthy foods. Just cut those out of the shopping basket very slowly and instead start cooking a wide variety of vegetables and salads at main meal times. Fill up the fruit bowls, load the fridge with milk, yogurt and cheese and start serving a wider variety of vegetables and salads at meal times. 
buy whole grain bread rather than white. And be a really great role model yourself. Eat more vegetables or salad at dinner and have a nutritious, calcium rich, fiber rich breakfast every morning. And the last thing I'd say was actually encourage teens to cook. If they're involved in preparing the vegetables or making the salad or even making the main meal, they're more likely to eat it. Well, we know that teenagers are often hungry and there's some really great snacks that they can have from home. So how about some homemade vegetable soup, some eggs on whole grain toast, how about some baked beans and grated cheese on top? Or they can make some homemade smoothies. Simply throw some milk, yogurt and fruit into a blender. Something as basic as wheat bix and milk, they're really healthy snacks for teenagers.